punches, skunked on blister. See, the show where we play practical jokes on people, and not just any old people, interesting and famous people, like my friends. Hey, friend. <laughs> you see them? Host of G4TV.com, you're getting skunked. Patrick Clark, host of Pulse, you're getting skunked. And Mr. Stephen Bruce, Mr. CEO, big shot of Blister Enterprises Corporation, you're getting skunked. And along the way, we're going to get some skunky tips from some of my favorite video games. First, let's get wrapped up with Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Egypt, the land of the pharaohs. Egypt, the land of the pyramids. Egypt, the land of the Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Egypt, the land of... The Sphinx is an action-adventure game that's set in a world that's got a, a real Egyptian style to it. A real emphasis on feature quality presentation in the title. It's feature quality with you know, the levels, the, uh, the characters, and the way they animate. Long ago, a magical Egyptian empire joined together with other worlds through lunar and solar disk portals. That empire is destroyed mysteriously, and with the help of a mummified King Tut, Sphinx sets out to stop the evil god set from combining dark and light forces to recover the old empire and all of its crowns. Well, the mummy character is completely different from Sphinx, both in personality and gameplay. And he's a really cool character because he's already dead, and we can do a lot of really fun, cool things to him. Like, you can abuse the character uh, throughout, the t throughout the game uh, to kind of progress through your levels. You can light him on fire, you can electrify him. Uh, you, you can squash them. So you have to use all these abilities in concert uh, in, uh, to progress through the game. So if he's on fire, he can burn down obstructions. If he's electrified, he can like, walk by machinery and it'll turn on. Populated with over 200 characters, Sphinx and the Mummy will travel through lush and detailed environments full of monsters, machinery, and magic. You'll see an aquatic environment. Uh, you'll see a city environment. You also see a, a blasted, apocalyptic environment. These, since these worlds are so large, we really want to have the, the, the player really want to explore them. You have to make them highly detailed, so it inspires it inspires that feeling of exploration. This makes it a variety of weapons. He's got a, a magic sword that he can kind of form out of thin air. Uh, he's got uh, a blowgun, bouncing darts, acid darts, fire darts. He's got uh, remote-controlled beetles that uh, the player will actually be able to control. All the old paintings on the tomb do a sand dance, don't you know? They're falling down like a domino. So walk like an Egyptian, a sphinx, and a cursed mummy Egyptian. Now first, we're going to hit the host of G4TV.com. We got Scott, we got Laura, and we got Tina. And they all think that you're just pretty hot. TV.com hosts are inside of there getting all ready for the show. Where Scott Rubin wears a little more makeup than the ladies, but you didn't hear that from me, all right? Now we got our man right here. This is Max. Max is going to go in and he's going to pose in the delivery pizza guy. <laughs> and he's going to deliver another pizza to show what's inside the box, dog. <laughs> and also, Max is wearing this secret camera. You see this right here? It's in his backpack. Watch this. Oh, yeah. What's up? Now, before we go any further, let's check out some other pizza experts. My friends, my peeps, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <gasps> Turtle power. Yes. First it was on your television, then it became your obsession, then it became your life. No, I'm not talking about Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. I'm talking about the world's most fearsome fighting team, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The boys are back. Yes, the second renaissance has come for Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. They're back in the comics, back on TV, and now they're hitting the next-gen consoles in PC and 3D. There's only one word to describe how I feel. The story mode follows the comic books and animated series very closely. In single player mode, the team splits up for a little bit of personal time. So we follow the actions of one turtle throughout the game. Of course you can choose from all four, and you can follow this character with his distinct weapon, whether it be the Psy, the Katana, the Bow Stick, or Nunchucks, and follow that character and his personality very closely throughout the game, going from stage to stage and boss to boss. 
With Donatello, he's going to have the longest reach of any of the Turtles, so he'll be able to defeat enemies before they even get close to him, while somebody like Leonardo with his twin katanas will be able to do a lot of punishment. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is perfect for a video game because it's four personalities and four distinct weapons to play with. Yes! Well, I'm glad to see you too, my sons. If you succeed, you'll eventually advance to one of the world's most ultimate evils, Shredder. He's a ruthless businessman by day and an evil assassin by night, kind of like your dad. It's the cooperative mode and the story mode where you can take any two turtles, player one being the main focus of the game still, and play basically tag team where you can air juggle the enemies back and forth and play ping pong if you want to. Ping pong? Yes! Of course, there's so much more to the sewers than just heroes in a half shell. Sidekicks made the show amazing, and they make the game totally tubular. Splitter's back playing the biggest rat you'll ever let walk around casually in a bathroom. Good. Never thought I'd say this about anything or any block, but that looks better than pizza. Booyah! See, G4 TV Yakan is getting skunked up like a New Jersey hussy. The eagle has landed. Catch it. When we come back, you do your open, and the first call is the call. Excuse me. He's still working? I thought I was. I started waiting for him to open our business. So, after that, the first call is right there. There's a bunch of offices. Yeah. Actually, Phil's trying to lead a shooting. I think those guys might order. Yeah, they're next door. Tell them that you can't leave until it's paid for. Tell them they can't leave until it's paid for. Go, go, go. Check out how the blister executives raised the tricks we picked up from SSX 3.